Okay, so coming back from Christmas break and New Year's, I have a very, very cool card trick to show you. Um, it's very simple. The only thing you'll need is a deck of cards, and then you can go ahead, obviously, give the deck a couple shuffles. And then from here, what you're going to do is have the spectator go ahead and pick any card they want to from the middle of the deck. So let's say they were to pick this card here. Now I'm going to go and speed up the camera in just a second, but let's say this is going to be your guys' card for the trick. Now I'm going to go ahead and leave this card off to the side. I'm going to speed up the camera in just a moment. And what we're going to do is deal the cards into four separate piles. Okay, so now that all the uh, piles have been dealt, there's four separate piles. And what you're going to do at this point is you tell your spectator, all right, um, you have four separate piles here. What you're gonna do is just, you're gonna put your selected card on top of any pile that you want, and then you can reorganize them to make an entire deck, um, whichever way you like. So let's say, for example, you were to put the card here. The next thing you do is if you wanted to, you can grab this pile, put it on top. You could grab this pile, put it on top. You could even grab this pile put that on top of something else. Anyways, the whole thing is you, you know, rearrange the packets in whichever way you liked. In the moment, snap my fingers, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the cards, the deck around. I'm gonna go through the deck just so casually looking at the cards. And I'm going to tell you right now that the card you selected was the Ace of Hearts. So if I go through, I should be able to find the Ace of Hearts right there. And that is the trick. Super, super simple. Spectator can pick whatever card they like, and just like that, you can figure out which one it is. So, if you guys want to learn to do it, do not forget to stick on for the tutorial. Okay, so this trick is actually super easy. All There is going to be a little bit of a setup, um, but like I said, it is super simple. So, all you're going to need is a regular deck of cards, and then what you can do is pick two different uh, values and suits. So, in this case, I chose seven and fours. You can choose whichever you want. You can choose kings, queens, you'll see. But essentially you need to get all four cards from two. So like we'll get all the fours out and we'll get all of the sevens out. So we'll go through the deck. We'll find a seven, a four, and this should be relatively simple because they should be right next to each other if we did this correctly. Four and seven and you'll see how this works out in just a moment. So you take the cards out of the deck and then what you do is you'll take four fours and four sevens and what we'll all need to do is place whatever whatever one you want on top can go on top and if you want the others to go on the bottom you can so in this case we have the four fours those go on the bottom and then you have the two or the four sevens and these will go on top so at this point your setup should look like this like i said before you have four sevens on top and four fours on the bottom but like i said you guys you could do this with aces jacks queens whatever you really want just something not you know something a little bit inconspicuous so the spectators don't suspect anything. So at this point what you can do is start off by shuffling the deck. Just make sure to leave at least four cards in the bottom because that's going to be part of your pair and then four on top. So you can shuffle up however you like. Just kind of, you know, make it look like you're doing something as long as you've got the four fours on the bottom and the sevens on top. You have the spectator choose a card from the middle. So you make sure that they don't pick bottom or top card. Just something from the middle. And at this point, your spectator is going to look at their card and, you know, just for all intents and purposes, let's say it's the eight of diamonds, right? So you're not going to know the card until the very end of the trick. So you have the spectator hold on to one of the cards and then you deal out the deck in piles of four. And then you just start left to right, you know, left to right, and then you just deal them out just like this. And I'm going to go ahead and cut the video again so that way it's going to be sped up and you just make four piles just like this. All right, so at this point, all you do is you square up the piles and you explain to your spectators how it's gonna work. Um, oh, before I do that, I wanna show you guys the trick. So the reason you have you know, those two separate cards on the top and bottom is because each pile is going to have one four on the top and one seven on the bottom. So each pile is gonna look like that. So four on top, seven on the bottom. Same exact thing for every single pile. And the reason that is important is because at the very end of this, you'll tell your spectators to place their card on whatever pile they want to. So let's say in this case, it's the eight of diamonds. Let's say they were to place it here. Okay, the spectators can really arrange these in any way that they want. So in this case, let's say the spectator chose this pile wants to go here. 
this packet wants to go here, this packet wants to go here. Whichever way they arrange it, the trick's gonna work. All you're looking for when you spread the deck, and again, there's a seven on the bottom, there's gonna be a four on the top, and now the interesting part is their card is going to be in between a four and a seven. So you're looking through the deck, four and a seven. You see these two are right next to each other. So this means that the card isn't obviously between them. But if you keep going through four and a seven, it's not there. Keep scrolling, keep going, keep going. There is a four and a seven, just like this, but they are not together. So as you guys can see, the card that is sandwiched in between the four and the seven is actually going to be the spectator's eight of diamonds. So that is the trick, guys. You're looking for the card that's in between these two pairs right here, and that's how you'll know when you find it. It's super simple. You can use any cards. And uh, leave me down below in the comments any sort of video suggestions, what you guys want to see, maybe some tricks that I haven't gone over on the channel already. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. As always, thanks for watching.